Powerwall owners can now seamlessly monitor and manage all of Tesla's products. Powerwall, Solar, Model S, and Model X with the Tesla mobile app. This video will provide a demo of the Powerwall and guide you through the Powerwall app. Here is the home screen of the Powerwall app. On the top, you can see if Powerwall is charging or discharging energy. If you have Solar and Powerwall, it will be visible as in this example. If you only have Powerwall, the Solar would not be visible. You can find a percentage to the right of Powerwall, which shows you the charge level. In this case, Powerwall is 29% charged. It'll continue to change throughout the day. Down below, we have a menu of options. Let's first start with Power Flow, which gives us real-time information about how power is flowing to and from your home. You can see we are generating 2.1 kilowatts of power from our solar panel system. 0.2 kilowatts of that power is going directly into appliances in the home. The excess 1.9 kilowatts that the home doesn't need right now is going into Powerwall and charging it up for later use. If solar is producing more than the home and Powerwall can use, the solar gets exported back to the grid. However, it's important to understand that Powerwall itself will not export energy back to the grid on any current or planned settings. From this screen, you can either touch the solar, home, Powerwall, or grid circles to access more information, or you can select the graph icon on the top right here. Once you do that, you will see a more detailed breakdown of how you are producing and using energy. Change from today to yesterday to see a full day's view. This first graph in blue shows energy consumed by the home. You can see there was a spike right before 4 a.m. This was when the electric car was set to charge. You can see the morning spikes at around 8 a.m. This is when you are waking up, turning on the lights, running the coffee maker, and completing your morning routine. There are other peaks throughout the day, and then in the evening, we see multiple spikes starting at around 6 p.m. when we begin preparing dinner, watching TV, getting work done on the computer, and so forth. As you can see, the home used a total of 18.7 kilowatt hours for the day. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see the exact breakdown from solar, power wall, and the grid. If you slide to the solar icon, you can see the solar production for the day. It's a bell curve starting flat at night, and as the sun rises, production begins. By midday, there is peak solar production. You will notice the light green spikes. This is energy used by the home and directly powered by the solar system. As you scroll down, you'll see the solar system produced 22.9 kilowatt hours for the day, while the home only used 18.7 kilowatt hours. That excess solar energy is used to charge Powerwall. Let's select the next icon, Powerwall. The green spike to the left shows that the electric vehicle did most of its charging off Powerwall. As we are generating solar power, some of that energy is used instantaneously by the home. The surplus is used to charge Powerwall, which is reflected by Powerwall dropping below the x-axis. The sharp end to the curve shows that Powerwall has reached full charge. Then in the evening, after the sun goes down, Powerwall automatically kicks in and runs the home. The green curve is positive, showing that power is going from the power wall to the home. If you scroll down, you will be able to see how much energy has come from power wall. You will notice that the gray graph goes into the negative. Once power wall finishes charging, the extra solar energy is fed back into the grid. You can then see in the latter half of the day, power wall supports the entire home, and you didn't have to use the grid at all. If you scroll down, you will see how much energy was sent to the grid. Let's take a look at self-powered metric to understand how much of the day's energy was self-produced versus pulled from the utility grid. Self-powered shows your independence from the utility grid. If you select yesterday, you can see that you were 83% self-powered, 12% came from solar, 71% from Powerwall, and 17% from the utility. This means that the home is relying less on fossil fuels and utility power. Going back to the main screen, we can choose backup history and see how many times there was a utility outage. 
Since Powerwall instantaneously switches over and provides backup power to your home, you will not realize there was a blackout. Here, you can see the day and time a grid outage occurred and realize how your home is always protected. And the final menu option is Customize. Here, you can select between two modes, Backup Only and Self-Powered. If you see a storm coming, you can prepare by selecting Backup Only. This means 100% of your power wall is reserved for a backup event. You will visually see the 100% level below. By selecting Self-Powered, Powerwall will store solar during the day and discharge at night. You also have the capability to set a backup reserve. By scrolling down, you can actually change the reserve percentage. By reducing the reserve, you are increasing the capacity of Powerwall to self-power your home. By adding more to the reserve, you are retaining more energy for a backup situation. It takes under one hour for Powerwall to adapt to the percentage change. This concludes the demo. As with all Tesla products, we will continue to add new features and modes to Powerwall via over-the-air updates. This will all be available in the app.